are looking at is some drop paper art that I created during one of my live sessions. We had finished the page and I did not at that time move on to another page. So I started doing some art on my drop paper in the live session. And what this is are some Tim Holtz ephemera that I had an old package and I just wanted to use it I did not want it just to sit around and I smeared paint across the entire drop paper and then I clodged down the ephemera then I started using my fine line paint applicator to add these black lines however I did not finish it because up here in the upper right hand corner I had a lamp and this part down in here, I did not get the little ephemeris glued down. And so I glued them down after the live session. And I said I'd go back and finish this side. But all that said, I think these black lines, as much as I like my fine line paint applicator, are just a little bit too bold. I think that they draw attention away from the image instead of focusing on the image so I'm going to come back in with some yellows and whites I believe and mute out some of this I may add some brown to distress it so I'm going to go into fast forward and work on this and I'm going to finish this really huge drop paper art <laughs> finished with this for the most part I'm happy with it I got rid of all those really dark lines I did add some more dark lines in there so that you know there's something behind here there's a texture behind here I experimented with putting some stamps on here with the bottom of a flip-flop I have a few of those showing through not a lot of them still show through 
I don't want to draw too much attention away from the images that are on here. This is going to eventually be cut into collage pieces, so there'll be more art done on this on whatever piece of art it goes on to. So I didn't want to get too much in the background, so it leaves a play space in here. I'm really happy with it. I think that that it's a fun exercise. I like working big. Now I'm going to leave this. This is a piece of foam core board that I got at the Dollar Tree. And I have just been covering it and covering it and covering it with drop papers. After this dries, I'm going to put the one that I had on top of it back on top of it so that I can work on it. And when I get to a point to where I want to eventually remove all these, then I'll just start unlayering them and cutting them into pieces that I want for collage or art journaling or other projects that I'm working on. This is a good way to use up magazine images that you really like but you just haven't found a place for and they're just sitting around or pieces of scrap paper it's a good way just to get in there and play and play freely and not really worry about creating something long term or a beautiful picture or something like that you're just throwing things down on a wide area and splashing paint on it, doing whatever you want. So I would encourage you to try this. It's just, it's really a fun exercise. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Yeah. I will see you on the next page.